All right, I'm Ace Chapman, and we are about to talk about how you can become a media mogul with no money down. If you're new here, I talk a lot about generating income through private equity, uh, through income trading, and through something we call equity consulting. Uh, and today, we're going to be talking about one of the strategies that for the last few years, I've only shared uh, in the private equity fund incubator and in the uh, acquisition holding company program, which people pay $10,000 or more to be a part of. Uh, and I'm going to share this strategy with you today. Uh, so one of the things that you know I'm passionate about is I don't want to uh, rent eyeballs in a business. And, and every business that we acquire, we're looking at the in expenses to figure out how can we uh, basically replace this expense and put it into an asset that we own. So take an expense and turn it into an income stream, which sounds crazy, but it's really cool because we've done it over and over and over, and now we have it down to a science. So one of the places that we've turned uh, an expense into a income stream is in marketing. The mistake that most people are making right now in their business is the biggest mistake I see over and over, and it's how we buy a business, and I know immediately we're going to make more, more money, is they're spending money on marketing. What, what you're doing when you're spending money on marketing is basically renting access to eyeballs. So if you want to get access to a certain demographic, you go on Facebook, go on YouTube, you pay money to reach that audience, and then you get a few customers from it, and then guess what you have to do the next month? You gotta pay all over again to try to access those eyeballs again and convince more people to give you more money for your products. And so you're thinking, Ace, <laughs> I gotta market, like how am I gonna get in front of my audience? Well, I have a really cool uh, strategy, and that's buy the assets that have your audience instead of renting access to them. Now, what does that mean? You know, if you've been on this channel, you know I'm always talking about assets, cash flow, and equity. And what you're doing in each category of your business is trying to turn uh, the things that are in your business, you're trying to turn them into those three things, assets, cash flow, and equity. And I know you're thinking, Assets, cash flow, equity, like that's just an acronym for ACE. <laughs> and while it does happen to be that, it's also the acronym for your freedom. So what we're going to do is turn your expense. You're going to turn your expense of marketing into an asset. And we're going to do that by buying Facebook groups, newsletter, and other social media and being very, very judicious about the ones that we buy because we're going to take that budget and we're basically going to use some of the strategies that um, we, we use in, in the acquisition hold code program where we're going to acquire these assets. Uh, we're going to get financing. We may get seller financing. We're going to structure a deal where we end up cash flowing. And while we buy that asset, we're actually going to be advertising our product to those customers. Now, we did this with a client as well as in a business last year. We had one business that we acquired that was spending about $10,000 a month on Facebook ads. We ended up buying a couple of Facebook groups. And, you know, the really crazy thing is we turned that $10,000 expense where we spent one month, you know, we bought the business, so we got the business, we got the income, we got that expense anyway. So essentially it's a no money down deal because that $10,000 got us a uh, access to over 100,000 of our targeted clients in the very first month that we had that uh, account, we ended up doing about $30,000 in sales. So. Uh, the, the cool thing is, on a typical month, when we spent that $10,000 on ads, we were very happy to net out about twenty dollars to $25,000. 
So we actually made more money, but guess what the biggest difference? So that's a little bit of positive difference. The biggest difference though is we own that asset. Now we did this uh, with another business that is not in a money making space, is not in anything to do with, with, with uh, kind of our world. Um, actually it's in the, the world of kind of spirituality and the same thing kind of the same thing happened but they were spending forty thousand dollars a month and they were able to replace that by starting to buy these different groups now here is the cool uh thing if you're in the patreon i'm going to go through these case studies and go through how you can implement this strategy in either your business how you can use this strategy to help other businesses grow and get paid in equity or get paid uh, in cash, which is, is good, just as good. Like we said, it's assets, it's cash flow, and it's equity. We want all three of those. Uh, and if you're not a part of the, the Patreon, be sure to check that out. Link below. And we've got some, I've got over a hundred different videos. This is the best deal that you're gonna find when it comes to deal making 25 bucks to get access to all that and you'll get my uh, most recent book which is called infinite returns so check that out check the link below if you're not implementing this strategy feel free to go ahead and start using that but if you want to know the details of how we do it be sure to join the patreon thanks for checking out the video